And so we're going to stick that in the jaws of the vise. And if you don't remember exactly where to clip it, we want to avoid the point and go about there. And then we'll check it to make sure it's secure in the vise. <clears throat> For this particular tie, um, we need three things. We need a hook. We need some light colored thread. And the color doesn't matter. It can be white. It can be off-white. I'm going to use kind of a cream colored thread. This is 140 denier UTC Ultra Thread. The third thing you're going to need is some sort of a dark color, waterproof or permanent marker. I'm going to use this Sharpie. I'm going to start right behind the eye. Now, if you look at the top view here, I'm using these fingers on the, they're actually on the spool, if you can see that. And so I'm applying tension to the thread with my fingers. When you first start out, this will be like almost too much thought. But if you keep in mind, just keeping your fingers down there, you will eventually do it without even thinking about it. And you'll notice I'm trying to keep about an inch or so of thread out. I find that's the most efficient for me. And if you make a mistake, get too much thread, just back up and take it off. This is a flat thread. And so if I let it go at the bottom, you'll notice it'll spin in a counterclockwise direction like this. And if I spin it in a counterclockwise direction, it will tend to flatten out. While I've got this here, let me tell you that um, you're going to break some thread, unfortunately, and it's, it can be quite frustrating. A lot of times you'll break thread because you drag it across the hook point. Hook point will tend to fray thread. So what we want to do here when we come to the hook point, either go around it like this, actually come out and then come back, or we can angle the thread. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to put down a thread base. I just want to cover the hook with it. And I know that you're going to watch this. There are going to be some people who are going to watch this and think, I wouldn't ever want to tie a fly like that. Um, and then later on, you'll look at flies and you'll figure out there are an awful lot of flies that have a thread body. So that's what we're doing as a thread body midge. Now also, midges have ribbing. I'll show you a photo of a waxworm. And you can see in the photo of the waxworm, these little segments, which is what we're trying to imitate with this. And we put some black marker on the light thread so we have a dark color to use and you need to let this dry for just a minute otherwise it will smudge and then I'm going to wrap around a couple of times to use up the tan thread or cream thread and then I want to go roughly evenly up the body like this until I get to where the head will be for no particular reason that I have been able to come up with, people say five or six rib wraps. Four, five, six, something like that. And then I'm going to take some wraps over the thread at the front, behind the, the piece of thread, to hold it down. And once I've put the thre thread wraps behind, then I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to take some wraps in front to lock the thread down. And then I'm going to clip this off. Now I want to make a little head, and the head on these tends to be darker than the body. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I did before. I'm going to take the dark marker and I'm going to make some dark stripes on this. And I could take some wraps to make a head, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the whip finish to make my little head on the front of this. How many wraps do you take? 
and then we want to trim it. And now if you want to put some head cement on, there are things that are labeled as head cement. There are Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails that you can get in the uh, same department with the nail polish. We sell a good bit of some stuff called Hard as Hull. Um, there is UV resin that you can use, which we'll be using in some other flies. But what I use on a lot of flies is this little bottle of stuff. This is just lacquer, plain old clear lacquer, like you can buy a quart of at the hardware store for about, well, it used to be eight bucks. It's probably 28 bucks now, but anyway, we just put a drop on there. And the purpose of head cement, at least in this case, is to soak down into the threads and to keep them from coming undone. So that's what we're looking for at this point. If you think you got a little too much, grab your bobbin and just touch it with your bobbin, take it off like this. So that's a thread midge. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for all our videos and tight lines.